2009 Offensive Player of the Year, first team All-Pro running back. Listen, there's seven guys in NFL history that have rushed for 2,000 yards. Guy that's sitting with us right now, he's one of them. Please welcome to the breakfast table a man who had a career as bright as the jewelry that he has on, CJ 2K Chris Johnson. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, appreciate you joining us, man. Now, listen, uh, 10 years, you yeah. decided to announce your retirement last week. Mm -hmm. um, now, let's just say, hypothetically, you're sitting at home, <laughs> a text pops up. Yeah. What's up, big head? <laughs> a couple of teams. <laughs> it's, like, it's a couple of teams like, you want to go get a ring? Would you go out there, lace them up again? Nah, I'm done. Yeah? Unless, yeah, unless, unless they offer me a... Um, Le'Veon Bell, sadly. <laughs> mean, but now, nah, pretty much, yeah, I'm done, and I'm I'm good with that decision. So now nah, I'm just moving on to the next chapter, and that's just you know relaxing and spending time with the kids and the family. Mm. It sounds like a pretty nice future to me, but you got to take us to the past. Take us <laughs> to 2009, when you not only rushed for over 2,000 yards, but you broke and still hold, mind you, the record for most yards from scrimmage in a single season. The number is 2,000. 509 yards. Looking back on it, it's been almost a decade since that happened. What went into that to make it such an incredible performance? What, like looking back, what stands out or how did it happen? Oh uh, man, it's, it's crazy. You know, we just had a very, very good team, very great defense that always um, kept us getting the ball. And you know, Mike Hammondinger, you know, he just had so many crazy play calls. And um, you know, the offensive line was great. Um, and it was just like I got in my zone. And the crazy thing is before the year started, um, I think, I don't, I don't remember, I think it was training camp. And so I actually told the media that I was going to rush for 2,000 yards. Did you yeah. call your yeah. shot? Yeah, I told yeah. them, yeah. So, you know, they was looking at me crazy or whatever. Yeah. And it's crazy because the 2,000 yards overshadowed a 2509, which is an NFL record. Not that overshadow that. People forget about that a lot. And, yeah, for me to break, and I wasn't even thinking about that. I forget about it sometimes. But for me, to break Marshall Fault record um, is great. Yeah. The scrimmage yard record was incredible. Mm -hmm. But when I look back on that season, I think you should have had a shot at another one. The Eric Dickerson rushing record is so vaunted, so respected. The end of that season, week 17, mm -hmm. you remember the game. You're playing against Seattle. Chris, you busted a huge 62-yard touchdown that got called back ah. on a terrible... He knows night. exactly what it is. Ah. Chris, you know what I'm saying. And it's a very very famous referee who's now retired who called it. If you, that stands, you're then sniffing the record and could have blown the Dickerson record. Like yeah. the one, When you're looking at the play and remembering that week, what, what's it like for you? Uh, man, it's crazy because we've been working on this. It was actually the play we run a lot as a handoff. And... Um, Coach Heimerdinger said we're going to put it in as a toss, but we still run it mm. the same way. So as we, as soon as I get the ball, I see the hole open up mm -hmm. and Amaya Hall going, it's him in the linebacker, and he blocked the guy. Mm. And Is this the I, play here? Um, yeah, that's the play. And it was, it was crazy because when I got to the, to the end zone and I turned around, I don't see none of my teammates. Ah. Right there. So I knew it was something. I'm like, oh, man. And it's so crazy because the next offseason, um, the, that referee actually was coming to the practice. You know how they do in the practice, referees yeah, and stuff. Yeah, Ed Hawkins is there. Yeah, and he said it to the team like he made a mistake on that call. He apologized? That's true? He apologized. And that, that call caused him not to, um, not to be able to ref in the Super Bowl that year. I remember sitting oh, on the yeah. sideline. Oh. I remember yeah. sitting on the sideline. You were in that line. game, you're a Seahawks? And rooting for him. Uh -huh. You know, I don't <laughs> care less wow. about... Um, wins or losses at that point, you know, you just want to witness grace, yeah. greatness from one of your peers. Yeah. It was absolutely phenomenal watching them. Kay mentioned the scrimmage yards record, and I think that's kind of underappreciated from your career. You could catch the ball out of the backfield. You were a wonderful receiver. Right now, there are so many receivers that do it all. Who is the dual threat receiver that you watch in today's game that you say, that guy's got it? Um, I got to say Alvin Kamara. Kamara, okay. Yeah, I was look at his game and I can't lie, when he, his first year, you know, I didn't pay much attention to him, but the more that I watch him and I just see how his game is, how he catch out of the backfield, how he can, he can also run and he show how he can be an every down back when he had to play the first four weeks of the season by himself. So he, he's a real good, good back. And maybe the best one in football is one that we haven't seen all season. That's Le'Veon Bell. I'm sure you're a fan of his game. What'd you make of everything and him taking a stand and saying, uh, I'm going to sit out and give up $14 million guaranteed. Chris Johnson, you've had your contract <laughs> issues in the past. Yeah. What do you make of it? 
Oh, man, you can look at it at two ways. You know, as a man, you, it's something you want to do and you stick by your word. And then at the same time, it's like, am I really going to let $14 million go? Let's mm. just go back to the question. He said, if I get a call tomorrow and yeah. somebody saying they want me to play, yeah, if they say, yeah, we want, to, want you to come in for vet minimum or $1 million, $2 million, I'll probably say no, but $14 million, that's hard to turn. Do you respect it in a way or you have no respect for it? You think it's just foolish? No, you have to respect it. You have to respect that. And you never know what, what his contract going to look like next year. He might mm -hmm. make it up. He might not. You never know. Mm. Listen, there's so much to dive into. I, know. Yeah. I respect the fact that if somebody offers you $2 million, you wouldn't take it. <laughs> Life is good for this man. Uh, now, listen, you played at such an incredible speed. And, of course, we're all familiar with that. 4 2 four, 40. Mm -hmm. um, Since then, you've seen these guys come in. We say all the time, the game, they get bigger, faster, faster, and stronger. And you see some of these young guys. Do you see any of these young guys that are one of the fastest players in the league competing with this man right here, who is the GOAT when it comes to speed at the combine? <laughs> I'd say probably second place. It's probably second place. They second to you? Yes. But because no, I, when I at ran, your fastest, nobody can rock with you. Nah, when I ran that, I was 200 pounds when okay. I ran that. So you're saying that you could have ran crazy. faster? Yeah, probably if I was as small as the other guys who ran You're it. talking John Ross. John Ross broke your record. It was a big deal. We all talked about it. Uh, what was it like for you? He, I don't believe he broke it. Explain okay, it, because there are conspiracy theorists yeah. here saying that was yeah. an NFL job right on that yeah, one. Yeah, I think it was an NFL job on that one. Why? They got sick and tired of one person holding the record. <laughs> They got sick and tired of your shadow beating yeah. everybody else's they, shadow, right? Wow. When they put the thing, on, when they put the, the thing next to another, I pulled off at the end, probably like mm -hmm. the last two or three yards. Uh -huh. I pulled off, and then I never seen anyone take a whole hour to get the official. We're on the NFL network. Time. Do you think that they, were, yeah. they need a little buzz for that combine? That's yeah, what they, they did? Need, yeah, they need a little buzz for it. Hey, hey, but listen, though, here's the thing. <laughs> this, this, this is incredible. This is the Montreal yeah, screw job. Pull it up. Yeah, he said yeah, pull, yeah. pull it up. He said pull it up. Indy screw job. Hey, listen. <laughs> Hey, now, um, we came in the same era. You said that you were 200, you know, pounds or so. Mm. Um, nowadays, you don't necessarily have to be heavy. But I remember us coming in, they were saying, you got to be big. You got to be big. Be, yeah. So you put on weight, and you feel like if you were to drop weight, you could have ran. What do you think you could have ran if you were? Well, at, when the scouts come in, you know, when you go out to the senior, I guess it's the junior pro day or whatever, right. when they come in. I ran a 418. 418? Okay, 418. Four, right. Weighing what? What was your weight? I, when I was 190. 190. 190. So Tyreek Hill's 5'8", 180 or something like that. Probably Are you faster one, than him? Probably 170. Are you faster than him? Yeah, at that time. Uh-huh. What, what he's, he's probably the, the next guy to me, the fastest guy that I've seen in the league is mm. probably Tyreek Hill. He has that type of speed that reminds you of yourself. Yeah, he has that type of speed. What did he run at the combine? I think he uh, ran a four or hammer four or something like that. Four, yeah, I think three? every time they show his highlights, they speed it up intentionally to make him look faster. <laughs> <laughs> um, how fast do you think you can run right now? How old are you right now? I'm 33. How, how fast do you think you can run the 40 right now? If I train for it? Yeah. Probably 428. Uh, wait, right now. <laughs> look at, oh, oh, that's crazy, bro. Look at, look, I know, I believe what, you. What did T.O. run? Was it a four, five, four, four? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I believe you. It's just crazy. It's, it's just crazy. crazy. That by the way, Tyreek did not run at the Combine. So oh, he did it? Oh, up. okay. You know, what we, what we love about you is you didn't come from one of those massive college football factories. You mm -hmm. didn't have that real famous name. Even your name itself, Chris Johnson, mm -hmm. you know, like, that's not Ezekiel Elliott and <laughs> Le'Veon Bell. It's jump yeah. off the marquee. Yeah. And yet you still made your plays. You still made your career. And then you got this incredible nickname, mm -hmm. CJ2K. It's oh, a great man. handle that you earned. Mm -hmm. What did you think about that nickname? Um, it was crazy because it was the same year that I said I was going to rough 2,000 yards, but yeah. as the year went on, you know, people forgot about it. I wasn't thinking of it. And then I think it was probably like week 10, and I probably had like 1,400 yards like week 10. And then yeah. um, I guess it was NFL Network. They started calling me that name or whatever, and it just stuck. It just stuck from then. And like every week after the game, like they'll have like a – a ticker and it was like CJ 2K yards. Yeah. And every week they put the, whatever my yards was, and ever since then. You I walk through the airport, people yell CJ 2K. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's it. It's forever. Yeah, it's forever. Uh, great yeah. handle, dude. Hey, well, listen. 
By the looks of that chain, it looked like that 2K stand for 2,000 carats because that thing is shining. And listen, I appreciate you joining us. We're all kind of geeking out because yeah, we're all big fun. fans. I Game played against you. I've seen greatness yeah. firsthand. I tell people all the time, take it at face value because when it's gone, it might not come around for a long time. When you did it, you did it at such a high level. And you were one of the guys that changed the position. And there's a lot of CJ2Ks playing in the game right now because they watch you. So thank you so much for everything. Thank you for having me. Hey, enjoy the retired life, man. Yeah, I will. <laughs> What's up? Chris Johnson, y'all.